Hey there, happy Friday the 13th. I hope today is a safe and lucky one for you. Um, this is Juliet Danielle, and I haven't done a crafting video in a while, and um, that sucks because I really love crafts, and crafts are awesome. So today I'm going to um, paint a wine bottle. Um, that doesn't sound super exciting, but you can use it for a lot of different things. And when you have uh, alcoholic friends like I do, you have plenty of wine bottles. So um, I want to repurpose them and, um, you know, get a little bit of my creative energy going. So anyway, uh, step one, get a wine bottle. Um, if you're an alcoholic like me, you want to ask one of your friends to drink the wine inside for you. So um, that's step one. Step two is how the heck are we going to get this um, label off? And I googled it and everybody seems to have like the surefire way to get the label off. And then I look in the comments and they're like, no, that didn't work for me, but I tried this. So let's see if we can peel it off first. And no. So um, I'm going to go try um, one of the things I read on the internet, which is um, fill, uh, fill the sink with water, put some uh, dish soap in there, and soak it for 20 minutes and see what happens. So I am going to go do that. Hey, so I'm back. I, um, I didn't have a lot of patience, so I didn't leave the uh, wine bottle in there for very long. So when I first started to peel off the label, um, I was a little frustrated because there was, you know, obviously still a lot of um, sticky stuff. So um, I'm not condoning if this is safe or not, but I got a butter knife uh, while it was in the water and I just used it to scrape off um, the label and... Um, Yes, I did leave the contents of the label in my sink. Um, and then uh, there was still a little bit left, so then I used like um, one of those sponge things where you've got the really soft side and then you've got the scratchy side. I used the scratchy side. And oh my God, there is still um, schmutz on it. So um, you know how guys have their duct tape? Well, I've got nail polish remover. And let me tell you right now, if nail polish remover doesn't take it off, just leave it on. Okay, let's see if this works. Um, hey, that's working pretty good. So uh, I'm going to check back in uh, in a few minutes after I've finished um, taking the final little pieces off, and then we'll start painting. Okay, so I have finished um, trying to get the, um, the schmutz off, and this is the perfect uh, chance for a life lesson. Um, for those of you who have a hard time uh, with wanting everything to be perfect, um, projects like this, just like life, uh, you will find yourself either having to work way harder than everyone else, or you're gonna end up being disappointed. Um, for me, I embrace this project like I embrace life. Um, there's still some stuff on it. And it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me right now. And I want to spend my time enjoying this piece. So the next step um, is I'm just going to paint over everything. Um, if you have a clear wine bottle, you might not really need this next step. But for me, um, I don't really need any light to show through. So the first step for me is to put a good base coat on it. A base coat of what, you may ask? Well, I'm just using cheap uh, acrylic paint. Um, normally I start with white, but the project that I'm doing today, I'm going to do black. Um, and you need a paintbrush. Not a tiny paintbrush. Any paintbrush that you really want to use. Um, and um, you just start painting. Um, you'll let it dry and then you will maybe put another coat on for the first coat because just like painting your apartment, you've got to get a good base or you're just going to get disappointed and then it's going to ruin your entire project. And then, then you're really going to need a bottle of wine to drink. Okay, I'm going to paint. Oh my gosh, that didn't take very long at all. It turns out since I'm doing a dark color that um, one coat was enough 
Um, and I also have, um, you know, a dark bottle and a dark color. So, um, yeah, it's black. Very exciting. So, um, my work surface right now, I just got a piece of poster board and threw it over my desk because, um, it's Friday. And even though I work from home, I do still have to work some during the day. So, um, okay. So I'm ready for the next step. And, um, you can either, um, paint with a theme in mind, or you can just start painting and see what it comes up with because empty wine bottles are actually pretty easy to find. Let's see what I come up with. Okay, so that was super zen and fun. Um, I, um, I'm going to make a um, confession. I actually meant to paint uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night, but um, <laughs> it totally didn't go that way. So um, instead of being upset about it and um, feeling inadequate, I chose to make something else. And so I made flowers and blue bonnets. Um, what's the best way to show you this? It's kind of a blue bonnet. And I'll show a, a closer up image. But um, the bottom line is I had a great time painting this today. And all I needed was a wine bottle, a paintbrush, and some acrylic paints. Or I bet you could use whatever kind of paints you have in your house. I'm sure you could even use nail polish. Um, but my mood is better. Why? Because doing things with your hands makes you happy. And that's a life skill. Learn it. It's awesome. Um, I hope you try it and I hope you will post pictures and videos of um, you doing the same thing in your own way. All right. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Okay, let's take a closer look here. So I started out with the black and just um, ended up trying to paint over my mistake. So that's my interpretation of a blue bonnet and some flowers because flowers are fun and they're pretty and they cover up mistakes and they make me happy so there is my bottle and I didn't have to drink out of it in order to feel better